What's up guys, welcome back to another Revit video. In this video we'll be covering how to relocate a building. And what do I mean by relocate a building? Well, I mean relocating a building not like left and right across the site, but like actually up and down vertically. So there's a number of ways that you could do that and they would work, but there's really only one good way that's gonna effectively give you what you want that is going to achieve that. And the reason you might do this is if you're maybe you're talking with a civil consultant at some point and after getting an initial survey and you have a topography to work with, you realize, oh, I need to raise my building, like physically raise the finished floor of the building. Well, in this case, you're going to have to relocate the building. And the relocate tool in Revit will allow you to easily relocate the building vertically without physically moving any modeled parts. And the reason this is good is because one, it's very easy to not move any 3D element because if you had to move 3D elements and you had a massive model, that could take forever and much less break everything. So where are you going to find this relocate project tool? Well, you'll find it in the manage tab in, in project location, you'll see there's a position. And if I click on position, you can see there's relocate project, relocate true north, mirror project, rotate project north. But we're gonna work with the relocate project right here. And now why can't I use this? Why is it grayed out? Well, it, I can't use it in a 3D view, and that's just fine. But just to know, it is in the manage tab and position relocate project. So let's go into my elevation view, and this will work in an elevation, a section view, whatever it might be. So just for the purposes of this video, I've got this building, it's a 20 story building and there's nothing to it really other than it's 20 stories and we wanna relocate the building vertically. So let's look at our topography. So I've got my topography modeled correctly. And again, this is an example, but let's say that I have my topography modeled correctly. My site is correctly modeled to the existing conditions. And at this point where I've located my building vertically, I have the finished floor of level one showing as zero below grade. And that's of course not where you want level one if it is actually level one. And it's a different story if it's a basement, but for the purposes of this video, we want this level one to be above the grade at least six inches for drainage purposes. So if I go back to 3D and we, we can clearly see this, that the building is sitting below my current grade, how do we begin to do, to do this? Well, we use the relocate the project tool. Now, before I actually use that tool, there's something I want, there's a few things I want to point out. And just to really show you what this is, what this tool is doing, why you might want to use it, and really just the power of it without having to move every single thing in your project. So I'm in a 3D view, and if I go to visibility graphics, I go down to site, I can see that I have project base point shown. And my project base point is this circle with a cross through it. And regardless of where you are in the entire project, you're going to see this if it's visible. Most of the time you don't want it visible because you don't want it in the way after you have things set up. But at this point, I need to change some things. So if I click on it, I can see that because this is an out of the box project, nothing special, I have my project base point. It's at zero, zero, zero. There's, there's nothing special. There's no angle. There's no nothing. It's just a zero. And I can confirm this. If I go back to my elevation, I can see that level one is at zero. That's fine. There's nothing really that you need to be aware of there other than everything is currently zero. Now, maybe you want to have level one show up as 100. A lot of times firms might have level one show up as 100, level two, 110, and so on. So you can have a basement level or anything below grade show up below 100, so 90s, instead of its negative numbers. Dealing with negative numbers can be a little more difficult. So how would you achieve that? All of this ties in, don't worry. All of this ties into relocating the building. So to do that, I just need to change my project base point, and it's the elevation of the project base point that we're looking at, elevation here. We wanna change that to negative 100. Now why negative 100? We want negative 100, so our level one is now 100 feet higher than that. So if I do that, go back to my elevation, I can see that I now have level one at 100 because my base point is negative 100. 
And it, the reason that works is because level one, is in this case, is always at zero. It's going to start at zero. So zero is technically 100 because my project base point is negative 100. The math works out that way. Okay, that's great. We still haven't relocated the building, so what the heck are we doing? Well, at this point, again, there's one more thing to show before I actually start moving things because all of these elevations kind of tie in together. If I go to spot elevation and I go based on the project, I can see that as I'm hovering over my grade, I can see it matches and aligns to my 100. So that's great. I have my grades matching the newly changed elevation. Perfect. So how does that tie into relocating the building? Well, it, it doesn't exactly, except I want you to visualize how this is all working out in the end, comparing to these elevations. So at this point, what I want to do now is actually relocate my building. And again, this whole process does not actually involve relocating my building. It's just moving my building vertically. And you'll see what I have to do as far as what's moving. So at this point, we're going to actually go to the tool. I'll go to the Manage tab, Position, and Relocate Project. So this is meant to relocate, specifically vertically, and that's going to be very nice because that's what we want to do in this case. So after I choose Relocate Project, it turns into just the basic move tool. I've got the move command and everything, and I can snap to certain things if I want. It doesn't matter. But in this case, I just want to, I want to move my building up. And may, let's say we've decided that the finished floor of the building will be at 103, or 3 feet above level 1, or 3 feet above 0, whatever 0 is, the arbitrary 0. In this case, so that the building itself and the finished floor of level 1 is above the site. So at this point, what I'm going to do is move the building three feet higher. So all I need to do is move three feet up. So I'll first click and I will type in three, moving up. And what we'll see, nothing happened. It doesn't look like anything happened. And why is that? Well, that's because level one is still 100, level two is 110. And that's honestly what we want. You know, we want level one at 100 and like all that's great. We just, we moved other things. So what? let's look at what actually moved. I'm going to go back to my site plan, actually go back to 3D, and everything still looks the same here. Let's go to annotate, let's choose these spot elevations. Well, everything looks the same here as well. Well, what actually happened? Let's go and look at the project base point. There we go. The project base point is at negative 97, and that's three feet lower or higher in this case, three feet higher than we originally were. So at this point, what do we need to do now? Okay, if we know that the site was correctly modeled at, you know, it doesn't matter if we just knew it was correctly modeled and we moved the building up three feet, well, what do we need to do at this point? Well, we need to move the site down three feet to basically inverse what we just did with the, the building, we need to do it with the site. So at this point, I can go to the elevation, I will select the site, and I'll just move this three feet down. So let's move this three feet down, and look at that. So what, what do we have now? If I go back to 3D, I can see clearly the building is above the site. That's, you know, that's what we want in this case. But also, let's check our spot elevations. Do they align up? Yes, this is three feet lower than it was. That's perfect. So what did we actually achieve here? Well, we achieved moving the finished floor of the building up in this case. And we kept the finished floor and level one and everything at 100 where we want the building. So in a way, we kind of moved the project, moved the datums, but we didn't have to physically select all the datums or select all the 3D elements inside of this building and physically use the move tool and move it because that would be just crazy and things would likely break. You'd lose associations and it could just go haywire in a second. So what, again, what did we do? We moved just numbers around more or less. The building didn't actually move, but the only thing that physically moved was the site. And that's because after we physically or physically moved the, 
the numbers up in a way, we needed to physically move the site down to represent that change. And so at this point we can begin to address the fact that we have the site in the right place and now get it integrated with the building the way we want it to. I sure hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, please ask a question in the comments. I will be happy to get back to you and I will answer thoroughly. That's gonna do it for the relocate building, relocate project tool. It, it is pretty simple. I know this is kind of long and drawn out just for the sake of me showing you what it really is, but if you enjoy this video, please demolish that like button. Also change the phase of the subscribe button to existing. That always helps me too. I sure hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching.